Hi mom, hi dad. So I decided to do a video clip to show you what I've been learning in my math class so far. So this chapter we're learning about exponents and we did some real world modeling. So that's what I decided to focus on today. So on this first graph is negative x squared and this is just like the standard graph. Um, that you would have for negative x squared before you did anything to it. Um, so you can shift the graph left or right, up or down among the x and y axis. And so the first one I'm going to show you is shifting it along the x axis using the h factor. So when you use the x, the h factor, um, it shifts opposite of h. And so because h, I'm going to bring it back up, is negative 2, uh, we shift it left or shift it right positive 2 um, and then we have the k factor which shifts it up or down because k is positive it shifts it up if k was negative then it would shift it down I know you saw a basketball on there we're going to come back to that in a second um, this next one shows how the different exponents change the graph so the pink is the original negative x squared and the uh, blue is negative x to the fourth and negative x to the fourth is slimmer or skinnier or decreasing at a faster rate because when you incre uh, put the numbers into that equation the higher exponent makes it rise or decrease faster so um, that's another relationship this one is negative x squared compared to negative one half x squared and the negative one half x squared makes it wider um, because when you divide by two, it um, alters the number. Um, and so this next one is just showing like what a real life graph will look like because we don't time is you know we don't do time in negative minutes, so it will always be positive. And so going back to this one with the basketball, um, we learned that, you know, shooting a basketball is modeled by a negative X to the second or fourth or sixth or whatever. It always has to be an even exponent, though, um, because it makes that upside down parabola. And so we were able to use basketball. Um, other sports that we were able to use is baseball. Um, and then this is just like showing a basketball bracket and we were able to model the um, how many rounds it would take to get to one team using that. So yeah, that's what I'm learning every day in math and it relates to real world experience. So hope this makes you proud. Take care.